if you get triggered by girls that get plastic surgery, well, my friend, that's something you need to look into. I'm so sorry you feel like that. This is called explant trend. By the way, I have silicone high profile nail. I love fake titties. I like Botox. I like fake hair. Like I'm like Dolly, man. Cause it's all about on the inside, right? So what's what matters the most? Even when I get titties, I'm like, dude, I don't want to get fake tits and look natural. Like I want to be just a little bit, a little bit bigger than that. But anyway, that's my personality if you didn't know. But uh, I see the explant hype. You know what I'm saying? I like that kind of stuff. If you get triggered by girls that get plastic surgery, well, my friend, that's something you need to look into. I'm so sorry you feel like that. Second. Explant surgery, if you go and look, and by the way, we've had so many women that I know in Hot Moms, she did all that. She even went to a healer psychic thing that told her to get her titties out. And I know so many women that have thyroid issues and Hashimoto's and all this, and they get their tits removed. Guess what happens afterwards? Nothing. They just don't have any titties. And, you know, it's great and it's very empowering. I love when I see women kind of, you know, still, they go through the self-love thing, which is ultimately what the whole process is about now yes there are some toxic implants you know I, I know that uh dr baron our surgeon she told us she goes yeah absolutely there were there were a few that got recalled you know the toxic stuff and all that but what's going on nowadays they're not doing that and it's kind of like you know a mercury and amalgam in your mouth horrible for you go look at what that does to you yet we all have it in our mouth i mean i got mine removed by a holistic dentist uh, because that is for real not to mention you know, the things that we eat and, and all this kind of stuff and vaccines we take. And, you know, I could go on for days. So a lot of this is just a hype. It's a trend. It's women still not willing to do the inner work. They're using surface level to try to get to the root, get to the root. Well, actually, the breast and anything related to the breast energetically is kind of interesting when it comes to women in thyroid. Women with thyroid issues, if you weren't on my throat training, it's called the martyr syndrome. Being the doormat, generational curses of women being suppressed, being told they need to stay in the house, they don't need to go to work, women need to do this. She's a mother. She needs to cover that up. Like, there's so much toxicity here. Please, go over that training. We go very, very in-depth, and you can actually heal from an energy standpoint, because energy is everything. It comes down to feeling like, when is it going to be my turn? I do everything for everybody. I take care of my family. You know, women, we're nurture. We're nurture by nature. You pair that with codependency, trying to live up to per perfectionism standards and what women should do and what good moms should do and what they should be. Like, there's a lot there, y'all. I highly recommend the Energy Codes program if you are new to me and new to all this. So thyroid, if you're getting your tits removed for something like Hashimoto's or autoimmune disease, Tits aren't the answer. It's the reason why you even have the issue in the first place is what needs to be handled. Resentment, deep-seated anger, low self-worth, low self-esteem, being overweight, not liking your body, not liking you're not healthy. You know you shouldn't eat gluten and dairy, but when you get stressed, you can't help it. Why? Those are the things that need to be addressed. I'm so tired of seeing this, and it's causing other women to think that that's going to get them. Guess what? The surgery in itself is going to cause an Epstein-Barr flare-up, which is going to increase your viral load and cause a flare-up with your autoimmune disease. I've worked with them. They're the victim mindset, too, of I'm always sick. Something's always going on. There's always family trauma. Our kids have a special needs. My mom passed away. I got in a car wreck. My dog died. We moved. It's always something. I can speak this way because I have lived it. My mother lived it. Still living it. My grandmother lived it. Her mom lived it. I come from a long line of this shit. And it's why I'm sitting there like screaming to these women like, y'all stop. Look, if you, knew what you, if you knew what was beneath the surface of all of your struggles with diet, with health, with your Hashimoto's, with your thyroid, with your gut issues, it's not your tits. If it is your tits, you can get testing to see if you are allergic to silicone or saline. Okay. Not to mention we get fucking uh, toxins in our forehead. You know what I'm saying? Like we're all going to die anyway. But I can promise you I've had so, Danny said, yeah, Epstein flare up. I can't tell you how many times a woman goes into surgery that has poor health, that has adrenal issues and thyroid issues, and she goes in unprepared. We, we get women prepared for surgery so you can bounce back. Anesthesia and surgery 
Dude, it will cause a flare up in itself. There's a protocol you have to follow if you get surgery to lower and decrease the viral load, to take care of your adrenals, and to eat properly and energetically heal yourself and heal your energy. And, and if you go and you watch these women who get explants, and if you're one of the women who does that, and that's why I'm saying I'm going to ruffle a lot of feathers, and it's probably judgmental of me to say, but look, I'm going to fucking say it. I'm telling you what you, what you need to hear, not what you want to hear, so you can actually get better. Because I don't want you to walk around. Tits make you feel good. I don't want you walking around titless, man. Okay? You being happy is of the highest service. You understand? So you can get your tits removed. That's fine. Please do the energy work. Okay? When you, oh, when you go to surgery, not to mention a little empathic body, you're opening your body up for other things to come in. Seriously. Yeah. Breast plant Ill, oh breast implant illness okay yeah it's such a hype right now like let's just throw them on the keto diet and the whole thirty diet and 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 um, synthroid like it's it's a very common thing like every one of them have some kind of tragedy in their family their stories are always the same there's always some tragedy they can't get ahead blah 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 blah, blah. their bodies have never they, they can't get what they want it's part of their victim story okay that's it. That's it. It does not fix the root issue here. It's like breast cancer. If you get breast cancer, okay, go to the emotional cause of it. That, that's it. I don't be, I, I, you have to, I believe in doing it all. I don't believe in the surface level shit. Like you have to do the energetics behind it or it's going to come back in another fashion or form. What are you going to do next? Get your artificial joint removed? Go get your amalgam removed. You'll notice more. I actually felt different after I removed my mercury amalgam uh in, in, in talking about the the increase in the viral load y'all if you knew what surgery did to you if you knew what antibiotics did to you dude you would think differently you would think differently so if you know somebody that's getting the breast plants the explant and all that stuff like I can show you people and this hurt like I'm terrified to say this because I'm going to get so many of those women those wounded women and it's like Rah! She doesn't know. She's judgmental. She's this. But I'm fucking also a master energy healer. And I want to help women. Especially if I can help you to avoid going under the knife and keeping your tits, babe. Man, go deeper. Go do the energy work. Every woman I've ever known that's got explant surgery has also suffered a lot of tragedy. Okay, that's what needs to be leaned into. Unless you have a guarantee testing done. Like, you know, you've got the... MHTFR, where you can go test your genetics to see if you're going to have a vaccine injury. If you can get testing like that done, where you it's proof that your implants are causing an issue, fine, fine. But you still need to take action and, and be uh, the proper precautions and protocols for surgery if you have Hashimoto's or thyroid issues, because it's going to cause a flare-up. The Epstein bar it it increases all of that. It's a major stress to your body, and it opens you up for energy stuff. Okay, anesthesia, it triggers hair loss too. Absolutely. I lost, I, I went through such a bad, t you know, when I had my kids back to back C-sections, I had a fucking botched surgery. I had um, total hysterectomy, man. I barely had fucking hair. My hormones were in a shit show. That's why, I, man, I've hit rock bottom. If you could see my labs and my, my Epstein bar numbers, my antibodies, you would, you would listen up because y'all see my modeling photos. This little skinny white bitch with a nice ass. What does she know? Yeah, I fucking know a lot. And I've helped a lot of women. So yeah, go back, listen to this video. Please share it. If you're not in that victim mindset, not triggered by this, please. You're going to see the comments. Go in there um, and, and, and uh, you know, drop a line. Anesthesia fucks me up. Yeah, me too. And I love it. And I love surgery. And I'm going to actually get my tits a little smaller because I went a little too big trying to fill them up and avoid a lift. Um but I'm going to go a little smaller, and that's why I just haven't done it yet. I'm really, I'm just, you have to be in a certain mindset. You have to really just step back and take care of yourself um, around the surgery so that you can properly bounce back, you know? Um, cool, cool. Valerie said, I love this. So true. Yeah, man, y'all know what's up. Y'all know it. And, and and each one of these women who are co who are commenting, uh, they've done my courses, they've done my programs, they've done Hot Moms, and they've been in my energy. They understand my heart. This is not to attack. This is nothing else but to bring awareness of, hey, if you feel like you want to get your tits removed for an autoimmune disease, 
because it's a hype trend and you don't have proof that it's actually causing that, go deeper. Go to the emotional root cause of the Hashimoto's, of the thyroid, of the autoimmune disease. Every one of them are tied to an emotional thing that I guarantee you, you have carried on like generational. Everybody in your, there's always a tragedy. There's always somebody that is just, you know, thyroid, things have been hard. Just that martyr syndrome happens to us, happens to the best of us. So if you want some help, if you're like, dude, you're speaking to me. What I recommend that you do is you need to get on um, like a 15 minute triage call with our girl Tess because she's going to be able to just ask you a few questions to see like which program you need. And if you even need hot moms or maybe you need a free free program maybe you need something else but i would say go to caseyship.com forward slash register and that's going to get you my 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 master class where i show you my blood work and everything that i did and then from there you can book a call to see like or fill out an application i'm sorry to see like hey i watched casey's video on this like i've got to know more about it i want to get to the root of my auto issue uh, because you're, you know you deserve better your kids deserve more like and we as women deserve to love our curves like we want an ass we want titties like some people don't want titties sometimes i don't sometimes i want trendy titties do y'all know what trendy titties are trendy trendy titties are like the small titties where you can wear anything it looks cute like i'm ready i really wish i could just have trendy titties almost flat chested and then just put these on like a sex toy that's what i wish <laughs> but you know i get it I get it. I get it. Um, Jen said, oh, no, please don't. And listen, uh, listen to Casey Ship. Thank you. Thank you, Jen. Thank you so much. Thank you for every one of you that really support me out there. And just, you know, a lot of women just they get triggered by me because you know, I'm speaking the damn truth, man. It's my truth. OK. And I've just seen so many. I've worked with thousands of women. And there is a there's a common factor. And the women that go after this, and they all have that, that subtle victim martyr thing that needs to be addressed from the root. And I actually have a couple girls in here that did that, got explants. Guess what? Didn't help anything. Didn't help a thing. One of them get, went back and got titties. And she'll gladly come on here. We can do a fucking interview. You, know, you want me to do an interview? We'll do a podcast interview with them. All right, let me read these, and uh, we'll get off. This says, trendy titties, haha, ha, yes. Danny said, yeah, trendy titties with an upgrade on them. Absolutely. Like, why, why can't we have, like, dicks? You know, like, well, I mean, it'd kind of be embarrassing if, like, our tits started growing, if we got if we got turned on. But almost like a dick, you know? Like, if we get if we get um, aroused, they just grow, you know? Or we have kids, and they're there, and they just go back down. <laughs> That'd be great. Valerie said, thank you for... Um, bringing awareness and the truth you're welcome you're welcome it's very scary for me valerie it's very very scary for me when i when i speak up like this because you know it's uh some of those women that i i can really help some of those women and then you know women are nasty man when we're in our wounded state women are scary and they will they're they're ruthless and they're very very cruel because they're not happy and so, you know, I just, I just get ready for it. I anticipate that all that. So I really, really appreciate you women, um, you heart led women who are open to receive this stuff and take, here's the deal. Anything I ever say, and this should be the fact for pastors, uh, energy healers and psychics, whatever gurus, you know, I'm going to say some stuff. And if it doesn't, if some of it doesn't um, sit well or not sit well, because sometimes you get triggered for a reason, you need to look into that. But if some things just doesn't feel like, I mean, I don't really see how that. OK, fine. Put, let's put it over here. Please don't take that. You know, everything I say is like the absolute fact, like test it out on your own. OK, um, trust that you're always going to get what you need. Your soul's always going to get what it needs anytime you turn on my videos. OK, so. She said, meh, keep speaking from the heart, Casey. Thanks. Thanks. That's awesome. Appreciate it. All right. I got to hop off. I was actually writing something and I saw the X plant. I'm like, fuck, I got to do this. But I will reach out to a couple of my girls and see if we can bring them on for a podcast because they actually got their tits removed and uh, still struggle with all the shit. Imagine that. Oh, it's one more victim story. Whoa, look at me. Got my tits out. Still struggling. Some of them, though, look into that and go, damn. Okay. So there's something deeper here. Let me go. Let me get to it. All right. Love y'all. Talk to you soon. Hit that register button. You can fill out an application and finally end the cycle of things not working out with your health.